Okay, welcome to chapter 15. We are looking at chemical equilibrium. And this is part one. And I am Ms. Bedrosian. So we're going to look at chemical equilibrium and I'm going to draw it as a line. You take the reactants, you start off with 100% reactants, and you end up, what you've been taught so far, you end up with 100% products at the end. At least that's what we've told you. In reality, however, this does not quite occur. Most reactions do not go to 100% completion, meaning that there's still reactants present in the container, along with products. This is called dynamic equilibrium. It's not that they've gone to products and stayed that way. It's that they can go back and forth. Opposing reactions are proceeding at equal rates. So A plus B yields C, for example, A and B are the reactants. However, C can also de decompose back into A plus B at any particular time. So usually we have an arrow, double arrows, one drawn one way, one drawn the other way. The computer program doesn't allow me to show it that way. So it's acceptable for me to do it like this. So A plus B yields C, and C can go to A plus B. If, let's say, you let it go to equilibrium and you open up the container and you look in, you could see that it's 50% products, 50% reactants at any particular time. Some reactions aren't 50-50. You can end up with 80% products and 20% reactants once it's reached equilibrium. There are some reactions, however, that are difficult, and you could have 95% reactants and 5% products. In this particular way, this is what chemists are for. They try and figure out a better way of doing the reaction. Let's look at the equilibrium expression, the mathematical expression for equilibrium. If we have a balanced equation, AA plus BB yields at equilibrium, CC plus DD, double arrow, meaning this is an equilibrium, does not go 100%. The equilibrium constant is, is expressed as follows. Please remember bracket stands for concentration. Molarity is the usual way we express concentration. And basically it's products to the coefficients over reactants to the coefficients. Please note solids and liquids are not included in the equilibrium expression. So you just leave those out. They're not even present. There is a relationship between the equilibrium constant and Kp, pressure in a gas, and that is expressed as follows. Kp equals K times RT to the delta N. Delta N is equal to the sum of the product coefficient minus the sum of the reactant coefficient. Please note that minus sign there. And we are at the end of part one. We will do some examples in the next part.